Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Lang. I'm an optometrist as well as a certified nutritional specialist. I'm also a host of a syndicated radio show for 22 years now called Ask the Doctor. This show is all on nutrition and eye care. I'm the founder of Lang Eye Care and Associates. We have 10 locations in Florida and the Lang Eye Institute, which is in the Villages, Florida. Uh, it's kind of the dry eye capital of the world. I'm also the founder of Fortify Vitamins a nutraceutical company uh, that is based on research and development of supplements for the optometric and ophthalmological market for dry eye as well as macular degeneration. So I've seen thousands of patients in clinical practice that actually improve through natural approaches to treat their dry eyes. And we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about omega-3 and dry eyes. Uh, we're going to talk about things that I've used in clinical practice that have really helped my patients significantly. I very seldom prescribe restasis anymore. I very seldom prescribe steroids or antibiotics, topical or oral, for my patients. So we're going to dive into a little bit of depth uh, discussing omega-3. All right. Um, I developed a product called Fortify Super Omega about four years ago now because I really wasn't satisfied with the typical omega-3s you could buy over the counter or the products that were available for optometrists and ophthalmologists. So I started thinking about it and I really got tired of my patients going to their cardiologist, going to their primary care physician and I would have them on an omega-3 supplement and the doctor would say this is not the right level of omega-3 for you. You need, to be, you need to be on Omicor or you need to be on Lavaza which is prescription fish oil. So actually I went to Norway and Oslo, Norway and did some research and developed Fortify Super Omega. Fortify Super Omega is a triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil, not an ethyl ester. We'll expand on that in a minute. With an EPA of 860 and a DHA of 580 in two gel caps. Folks, this is a therapeutic amount that has been proved clinically to help patients get to that therapeutic level bringing their omega index up over 9.2% as high as 11%. The omega index is a value in your blood that is a ratio of the omega-6 to the omega-3. And we want it to be over 8% to get the heart health benefits, to get the true therapeutic benefits. And so most of the over-the-counter preparations and the products that are recommended to the eye care providers at two per day dosing, none of them get to that level. And we actually did studies at the Lang Eye Institute proving this. Uh, we had about 150 patients that we put through an omega index blood study, and they had to be on a fish oil to begin with at two per day. And the average patient was about 4%. When we put them on Fortify Super Omega at two per day dosing, 100% of the patients, that's 100% of the patients that were less than 240 pounds, their omega index went over 9% and some as high as 11% at a two per day dosing. So that is a therapeutic level. Uh, that is proven that two per day dosing uh, will help this patient. In some clinical studies it has shown that if your omega index is over 8%, that correlates with a 90% risk reduction in a fatal heart attack. For if any reason, that's a great reason to prescribe this. But we've been using these levels with our patients that have dry eye. You think about it, your patients that have meibomian gland dysfunction, ocular surface disease, dry eye, blepharitis, uh, these problems are helped significantly with omega-3. Long chain omega-3, not short chain omega-3. And there's a difference there. Short, short chain omega-3 is vegetable based omega-3. Perilla seed oil, chia seed oil, uh, flax seed oil. Uh, this is ALA, alpha linolenic acid. This stuff is very, very unstable and it does not, I repeat, it does not convert in the majority of patients to the omega-3 essential fatty acids, to EPA and then to DHA. Just does not. Flaxseed oil in a healthy childbearing female, maybe 5% conversion. In a woman that is not childbearing or a male, flaxseed oil is essentially useless uh, as an anti-inflammatory to help with dry eye. Same thing with perilla and chia seed. Vegetable based omega 3's are not a good way to get the anti-inflammatory properties of omega 3. 
So you have to go to marine-based animals. So that is fish. Fish is the ultimate way to get your omega-3. There's other ways. Squid, green mussel, krill. I don't like any of those because krill has such a very low omega-3. If you look at these krill pills they're selling you, I almost call it an omega-3 scam. They have 40 and 50 milligrams of omega-3. Now, they do have phospholipids, and so that makes them a little bit more bioavailable, but nobody's giving you a high enough dose in krill to have any effect. It does not move the omega index at all. Uh, squid oil. Squid oil has its place, I think, in the future when they come up with a triglyceride molecule. It may be uh, something that could compete against a good triglyceride form omega-3, but right now, uh, calamarine or squid oil is still the ethyl ester molecule. So, let's expand on that a little bit. Ethyl ester versus triglyceride form. Ethyl ester uh, form fish oil has ethanol attached to the backbone. And in order for that to absorb in the blood, it has to pass through the liver and the ethanol has to be cleaved off and replaced with a triglyceride backbone for it to absorb into the blood. This is a very inefficient step. It causes uh, the omega-3 not to absorb very readily. Also, it's why you have a burp back and a nasty taste with these ethyl ester fish oils. And you can easily find out if you have an ethyl ester molecule fish oil by squeezing the contents of that into a styrofoam cup. Within 10 minutes, it's going to rot a hole through that styrofoam cup. This is one of the reasons you get gastric distress. You have that nasty uh, burp back of rancid tasting fish oil because of the ethanol aggravating the mucosal lining in the stomach. So, I don't like ethyl ester fish oils because number one, it tastes bad. Uh, number two, it's very unstable. Many of these are rancid before you even purchase them. And so, uh, it is a very inefficient step. And then who knows, long term, in very young people, pregnant, nursing mothers, very old people, uh, what the ethanol is going to do long term in the, in the liver. It, most of us, it's not enough to harm us. So, I want to go as natural as possible. That's why I developed Fortify Super Omega. It's a triglyceride form. It's a re-esterified triglyceride form uh, fish oil. And it's a long chain fish oil. Remember, this is a polyunsaturated essential fatty acid. Essential fatty acid means that you have to get it in your diet. You cannot manufacture it. Most of us are not getting enough omega-3s in our diet. Most of us are omega-3 deficient. Like I said, when I run omega indexes on my patients, most of them are dramatically omega-3 deficient. Their omega index is 1 and 2. And no wonder they have so much inflammation in their body uh, because they're omega-3 deficient. So we've got to adjust our patients' diets, number one. Get them to eat more fish, wild Alaskan salmon, sardines, a little herring and mackerel, maybe tuna every now and then. And children of very young age should be eating fish and as we get older, we should be eating fish. But quite frankly, most of us are not doing that. I mean, if our kids are eating fish, they're eating the fish sticks that you put in the microwave or they're eating the McFish sandwich from, from McDonald's. And these are not fish that are very high in omega-3. So, supplementation is very important at any age. I mean, our nursing mothers, infants, should be on omega-3. Our Patients with one foot in the grave should be taking an omega-3. Our contact lens wearers, our young, our old, certainly our dry eye patients, our macular degeneration patients, should all be taking a good source of omega-3. And it needs to be in the triglyceride molecule. Many studies, studies we've done at the Lang Eye Institute, omega index blood studies, uh, have now proven uh, that the triglyceride form omega-3 is much more bioavailable than the ethyl ester form. And I think all nutritional experts, all omega-3 experts will agree with us on that topic. But many companies are still making ethyl ester fish oil and they're saying that it's just as good. Why do you think they're doing that? Cost. That's the bottom line. Ethyl ester omega-3 fish oil is very inexpensive to make. When you go to the triglyceride form, it is three to four times more expensive to manufacture. That's why our competition is selling it for $40 to $50 a bottle retail. Well, Fortify Vitamin is a small enough company where we don't have to have the six-time markup. I mean, we barely double the price on these things. So, you have a triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil that tastes very good, that is actually chewable for your patients that do not, uh, can't swallow a large fish oil, or for religious purposes or uh, nutrient purposes, they will not eat a gelatin capsule 
They can bite into it, squirts in their mouth, and it has a lemon flavor, a very appealing lemon flavor. It actually tastes very good. So we've created a product that is cost effective. All right, It retails to the customer for $25 to $30, just depending on you. Uh, it is in the triglyceride form, backed by omega index studies, proving that two per day dosing can actually bring your omega index over 9.2% and up to 11% as long as you weigh less than 240 pounds. So there is a weight, when I'm looking at my patients, there's a little bit of a weight that we look at. We look at their weight to see how we prescribe. The lion's share of my patients go on two per day dosing. If they're over 240 pounds, then they go three to four a day, just depending. Certainly patients that have hypertriglyceridemia, you know, rheumatoid arthritis, things like this have more inflama inflammation in their body. Maybe they need to take a little bit more. But most of our patients are taking two per day and doing quite well with dry eye. So if it's early, moderate, even to mark dry eye patients, two per day dosing usually does the job. Now certainly we do a few other things. We do proper lid hygiene. We do hot compresses. We use the right form of lubricating eye drops, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but as far as omega-3 goes, you want to get your patients on a high quality triglyceride form omega-3 fish oil. And there's a few other good brands on the market, but they're relatively expensive and they want you to use four per day. With Fortify Super Omega, two per day dosing, it's going to be much more convenient for your patients. Now, I call the double whammy of dry eye is when you use Fortify Super Omega combined with a good lubricating eye drop. There's lots of eye drops over the counter. Most of them, quite frankly, don't do anything. Most of them are filled with preservatives and don't do a lot. So I like a lubricating eye drop that has something uh, called sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid in it. And there's a product I've been using quite successfully for many years now called Blink. Blink Tears, the preservative-free version, I love it. It works great on my patients. Now, the other thing about Blink is the preservative-free is very difficult for them to find. They can't go into the Super Costco or Walmart or Sam's or CVS and find this usually. Now, Blink Tears that has the preservatives and the regular dropper bottles is a different story. That's why I use the unpreserved. First of all, I don't like preservatives on my patient's eyes especially if they're doing uh, multiple doses through the day. So utilizing Blink Tears combined with Fortify Super Omega, I think is really a win-win for our dry eye patients. Obviously, heating up the lids to open up those meibomian glands, lid scrubs, using some sort of lid scrub preparation to get rid of the blepharitis, to get rid of the staph bacteria or the potential demodex. A lot of these patients have mites, so you might want to consider using a tea tree oil preparation or something like Clearidex uh, when you're doing your lid scrubs as well. So uh, this is really our protocol at the Lang Eye Institute is using heat, all right? So we use the brooder mask, um, taking Fortify Super Omega two times a, a day. Uh, in really dry patients, we'll start them out on four times a day for the first couple of weeks, and we always taper back to two times a day. Um, and then using the blink tears. The blink tears, if they have really dry eyes, I'll use it hourly, hourly for the first two to three days. That really reduces the friction when they're blinking and helps, helps the epithelial cells migrate into place and helps the healing uh, much faster. And then I usually go down to four times a day when they wake up, lunch, supper, and bedtime. Four times a day on most of my patients with fairly advanced dry eye. Um, moderate or early, early dry eye, I'll actually use it just twice a day, right when they wake up in the morning and supper time. So the other side of the coin is, you know, hydration. Most of our patients, believe it or not, are dehydrated. They are not drinking enough water throughout the day. They're drinking a couple cups of coffee in the evening. They're having a couple of cocktails in the evening, a couple of cups of coffee in the morning, I mean. And that has diuresis effects. And then they're not drinking hardly any water. So drinking spring water and coconut water, believe it or not, because coconut water is high in magnesium and potassium. Spring water is high in minerals. So you don't want to drink distilled water and you don't want to drink reverse osmosis water. These waters are very acidic. They're mineral free. So the minerals are actually leached out of your body, causes a potential mineral deficiency, especially in potassium. And it really can aggravate a dry eye uh, problem already. So in a nutshell, we heat up the lids, we clean the lids, we nutrify the glands with Fortify Super Omega, and we use a good unpreserved lubricating eye drop like Blink Tears. 
Now when you take an omega-3 in the triglyceride form, it actually goes into the meibomian glands and it reduces inflammation. This is how the meibomian glands are able to secrete a healthier tear film. That's the outer lipid layer of your tear film. And then you use the blink tears to replenish the other layers of the tear film. So that's why it's a win-win uh, situation for our patients with dry eye. Okay, so let's recap. Who needs omega-3 fish oil? Everybody from birth to death. I mean, your children need this. It helps attention deficit disorder, hyperactivity, helps the cognitive ability, your contact lens need, uh, where is needed, all of your patients that are working on a computer all day long, people that are professional drivers at night, people that are taking medications that are drying them out, anybody that has potential dry eyes, or anybody for any reason needs to be taking a good omega-3 fish oil. It's as simple as that. If we were eating a lot of fish, if we were all on an organic, gluten-free, paleo diet, where the protein was a good source of fish, then maybe we wouldn't need to be taking these omega-3 supplements. But let's face it, most of, it, most of us are not doing that. So uh, taking the good omega-3 is something we highly recommend for all of our dry eye patients. Using the blink tears we recommend as well, um, combined with heat um, and lid scrubs. And you're going to see that the lion's share of your dry eye patients are going to start to resolve uh, very, very quickly without any drugs. Give it a chance. Try it. And uh, I think you'd be very pleased. And your patients will be very pleased because you took a natural approach at helping them. And they're going to tell their friends and your practice is going to uh, continuously grow because you took a natural approach. You did something a little different. You didn't just take a, a prescription pad out and, and write a prescription for a very expensive drug. So this is fairly cost-effective to the patient, and it works. All right, if you'd like to get in touch with me, have any questions, you can always email me at idude92 at aol.com. That's idude92 at aol.com. Check us out at fortify.com, or you can learn more about our uh, clinics and some of the studies that we're involved in at Lang Eye Care at langeyecare.com. Thanks, and have a great day.